Welcome back to the Caribou Data Science Channel. Today is August 15th, 2020, and we'll be taking a look at the at the numbers for for Israel, the COVID-19 numbers for Israel. As always, I'll, I'll include a link to both the web page for the report as well as the uh, SQLite database and the R code in the description below. So here we are. Open up the Israel project. Open up this. This. Change this to 15. Let's come down here and change one thing here. Change this to 15. Change this to 15. What is the week? Change this to 15. Okay, that's just as you can see, uh, the only library I'm currently using is the RSQL library. Everything else is uh, base R and uh, R markdown. Load the library, load, load some data. Load some data, the data is verified. Let's go ahead and run our first report, which is, let's see, we've got two things. we got some summary data. Top line is cases, bottom is deaths. Minimum deaths between April 1st and now is four for, for Israel. Uh, the mean is 641, and the maximum is 2,502 cases. Deaths, mean is zero between April 1st, between yeah, April 1st. Uh, a mean death of 4.8, a maximum death of 17. Okay. On with the show. Okay, so now let's look at the cases. The cases. You can see the original peak here. You know, it's kind of falling. What uh, I think, what the whole world is falling. I think the whole world is. I'm not being, you know, facetious or serious, but it's, it seems as if the whole world is going through the same cycle. Same peaks, same valleys, and the new peak in the end. But you can see here. The, the trend for Israel for uh, to date is uh, from April 1st till today is clearly up with no rest. Okay, let's take a look at uh, take a look at deaths. Let's make sure we're seeing the same thing here. Cases. That's right, okay. Uh, cases, the second spike in June was some decline of uh, cases in, the, in August. Deaths? Deaths is spiking. Clearly, though, the, the, they haven't got their the death rate under control. This is, look at the spike, although, although it's only, you know, 15, or so, or it's 15 or so a day. The red line, of course, is the two week moving average. Curious. Let's let's do let's do some weekly numbers now. Calculate some weekly summaries. Take a look at the uh, at the cases again. One up, spiking, spiking, spiking. Down the last two weeks, deaths follow a decline back in beginning March. Is clearly spiking again to over 60, 60 to over probably close to 90 deaths per week for the last week, this week. Uh, this report probably needs to be changed. It's supposed to show the, the rate of change between the, the highest uh, death rate and the lowest death rate, so, which is probably isn't correct. So let's come back over here. Weekly cases, you can see again what, what the numbers are pretty much speaking for themselves. Uh, a clear spike. The drop the last two weeks. Deaths spiking with no with no with no with no decline. Spiking here is 80, 80. So that means there's 80 deaths for the, for this last week and at the end of the day. Uh, weekly change in death rates again. Let's let's see. Estimated lives saved. 
So even though that the the the, uh, the weekly live saved is cal- is calculated by by the difference between the maximum minimum mean uh, right, in, uh, between the maximum minimum minimum death rate. The difference between those two are, are represent lives that have people who haven't died. Okay, uh, but anyway, you can see there is some good news here. I guess uh, they're continuing to lives are continuing to be saved even at even at the rate that it's that it's reporting. Uh, let's move on to some monthly rates. Calculate the monthly rates and plot. Now we get down to nitty gritty. Estimated live. Oops, let's come back over here. Oh, hang on. Save that. Okay. Monthly cases. Clear spike, forty thousand for the month of uh, the month of July. Halfway through the month of August, it's pretty much halfway halfway up this year. Deaths over maybe 160, maybe 200 deaths in in, in April, followed by two monthly declines. Okay, in, in September or in July, we had close to 200 deaths. Well, well, even at two weeks, two weeks into August, then we almost caught that. Uh, we almost caught the uh, this number of se- the, the seven July's high. We could easily catch April's high also for the next two weeks. That's Okay, let's take a look at uh, the weekly mean cases, the average number of cases per week. And uh, what we see here is pretty much what we've seen before. Okay, so finally the, 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 the monthly mean cases, the average cases per month. Two spikes here in August, August and uh June and August, June, July and August, followed by a spike in deaths here also. June 7th, August. More death, more, the average death was high, which is only 10. 10 <laughs> the average number of deaths uh, for August was 10 per day, apparently. So, anyway, so that takes care of uh, Israel for today. I want to thank you again for, for stopping by, and uh, I also want to remind you to. To uh, click on that red S down the bottom right hand corner of the screen and subscribe. Also, you know, share share the Caribou Data Channel science uh, Caribou Data Science Channel with one of your friends this week and convince them to subscribe. And again, thanks so much. The code for both the links for both the website, the the code, and the database are going to be in the description below. Thanks so much again. And have a nice day.